So, made my first ever wooden rabbit trap. I think it came out pretty decent for bad wood. I went to, I was at the hardware store and they had these uh, two by eight by tens. They were just trying to get rid of them, so they sold me four of them for ten bucks. They're usually like, I don't know, eight dollars a piece. So I got a pretty good deal on them. Um, pretty pretty decent little deal here. It's a teeter totter pan, so it basically resets itself. Um, the back of the pan is heavier than the actual trigger part. So once it's tripped, it just resets itself so I don't have to actually fiddle with it. I can just, uh, let me see here. Set it off. And it resets itself. So all I got to do is um, just do that. I don't have to really adjust something. I'll just put the door back up. It's got a wire back to it. Actually, I'm actually planning on making a double door soon. I got an idea for how to make a double door one of these. Um, I got just a little latch. The top here is hinged. You see, I got these two little deals for my handle. It's not pretty, but it's functional. Let's see, that just opens up. And that's the trigger mechanism. See, that's kind of funky right there, but, you know, that's how it works, and... Yeah, we're just going to show you how that functions. I'll let it go, and then it teeter totters back into place, and I can just reset it. So, really cool little deal. First one I ever made. And now, I kind of got since I got the idea of how to really do it, I want to get some better wood once prices go back down and make some more of these. Actually, I might make some of these out of metal. I don't know. But yeah, just want to show y'all. 